we start by plotting the given information on the Cartesian plane. Consider the curve on the xy plane and p be any point on this curve. The tangent to the curve at the point p, let's assume that it cuts the x-axis at the point t. The normal to the curve at the point p will be perpendicular to the tangent and let's assume that it cuts the x-axis at the point n. Now drop a perpendicular from p onto the x-axis and let's assume that the foot of the perpendicular is k. If the coordinates of p are x, y, then p, k is equal to the ordinate y. Now let's assume that the tangent p, t makes an angle psi with the x-axis. Therefore, angle p, t, n is equal to pi minus psi. Now since the sum of the angles in the right angle triangle p, t, n is equal to pi, therefore, angle p, n, t, which is the angle made by the normal with the x-axis is equal to pi minus in brackets pi upon 2 plus pi minus psi, which simplifies to psi minus pi upon 2. Therefore, in right angle triangle pkn, the subnormal, which is nk, is equal to y cot psi minus pi upon 2 which can be written as minus y cot pi upon 2 minus psi, which is equal to minus y tan psi. Now we are given that the length of the subnormal is constant, and therefore minus y tan psi is a constant. Let's assume that is minus k upon 2. Now tan psi is equal to the slope of the tangent, at the point x, y is therefore equal to dy upon dx and therefore we have the differential equation y times dy upon dx is equal to k upon 2. Separating the variables we get y dy is equal to k upon 2 times dx integrating both sides and introducing a constant of integration say c upon 2 on the right hand side we get y square upon 2 is equal to kx upon 2 plus c upon 2. 2 cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side and the equation of the curve is y square is equal to kx plus c.